I'm going to have to uh, pass over to Dad because the concrete is ready at the other job. They just uh, rang up and said, can we come early? So. Nice. I've already had mine. <laughs> Customer just got his uh, ice cream cone from the ice cream van then. I'll just give you a quick progress update too. Dad has done... Well, that was a shock, I wasn't expecting that. Apparently, can you work the camera with your microphone? The little on-off button. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, Friday, happy Friday. Had the usual, um, bacon, butter and a coffee. So, Alex is just getting the rubbish that we piled up on Wednesday. You know, a mini skip. <laughs> Great as mini skips. So, um, plan today is, the concrete's in. Two are done. I'm going to take the side door out. I'll take it around and show you in a minute. I'm going to take the window out, cut the block, cut this brickwork down, uh, clean, clean off the, all the four bricks we can salvage, then work out the and then we'll take one of the bricks with us to the brick store and get as, as good a match as we can. So we won't need as many bricks now. And then we'll pick up the blocks and maybe half five trench block. And then we're all set for tomorrow to get get it built tomorrow, weather permitting. So we might have to put the up. And then we're just going to seal the, the French doors hole over with some visqueen. It's all temporary at the moment until Neil comes back and, and does his bit. So, look at that, he's done that already. It's done about 10 minutes. There we go, there's our brick. So we'll take that with us to the brick store. Let's see what we can do. We also, you also need to take a picture of um, stand back to get the colour of the brick. So yeah, I'll um, get my boots on and nail pipes. Boy, I'll be using this rascally in today. It's the really recommend this. <coughs> had our first go with it the other day. As you can see, it's rotten now. But uh, yeah, lovely machine. That's going to go straight through the brickwork. Like that. Right, that's enough. Of that. Let's quit cracking. There we go, there's our line. Shame about that piece. That's the only one. That's the only one. Hopefully that'll stay in. This one's even better. So this, this is the pillar. See these halves? That's the pillar inside. So anyway, we're going down to damp, which is there. So let's get this thing fired up and get that get it out. Okay. We've just tried to, um, <clears throat> got two screws out of this side. It's a metal wind frame in a timber subframe. So we've got those two out. This one here is not coming out because it's been screwed in past the frame. So it won't come back out. So we're going to get the, the sawzall with a metal blade and run it down this joint and hopefully cut through any screws that fix it into the, into the brickwork. So the whole thing will push out. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully it's not screwed into the timber lintel above. So you've I'm look, not going to maybe changing that, but the roof sat on that, so we don't want to be messing with that. Yeah, it's in good condition, it just needs the paint. So let's get this thing run down here and see what happens. Right, we'll normal speed this one just to show you how fast this is.
sorry about the wind again that's it done battery still on three bars and it's um we're on to the next stage now which is demolition you can see there's a pillar here so you can't see where the cut is it's come on this side straight through no bother it absolutely flew through them each time we get a new blade they just get better and better that mill that milwaukee blade is fantastic and it's um multi multi-purpose as well so it'll go through steel as well it's a beast so uh, we'll be back in a minute with a new battery for that get rid of this dust and we'll get this knocked out get this out it's catching a bit Yeah, so um, I've ground out the two pillars. I've only just noticed now one's two brick, one's one brick and a half. Oh yeah. Never even noticed that till I ground them out. So basically it means when we do the brickwork, there's gonna be a few bricks new, but the, all the mortar up to the big white lintel is gonna match the pike. Obviously it's broken by the big white piece of timber. So we're not doing that bit. We're just making sure the bit catches your eyes, bang on. Unless they ask you. Yeah, and we've just threw a couple of boards over the whole cutout. So um, yeah, let's get to Wigan before they close and get this brick match done. And there's the skip. So when you think of it that way, just that little dig for a little small foundation, nearly two tons of rubbish, including the um, including that window obviously, but there's barely any rubbish from that. Just a bit of um, mortar chippings in there, about 10 and 20 halves. So again, never underestimate your digs. So I'll do a quick intro for your dad just in case because I don't know if you're gonna end it off on this part or if we're just gonna transition straight to the um the reclaim. So we will either we'll either see you in the next video or we'll be seeing you in a minute. There we go, we've made a hole in the van. A pallet sized hole. There they are. Back at the brick store. You see us here quite a lot because this is our closest. You've got Lee, Lee Concrete, well, Hughes Grain Warrington, but this is our local one. This is a lot closer for us. So um, we've, uh, we've got, we're going for Carlton Heathers, which we've used before because there's more purple in them. Right. The tradesman, Ibstock Tradesman Heathers are a bit more brown, so we've gone for the closest colour we can. The texture's not as, not as dimply. But, um, it will be over time. It's as close as we can get, and the customer knows we can't get an exact match, so. And that's, why best. We, that's why we preserve the other ones. Yeah. So we've got, we end up with 50 odd of the other ones, so. We showed them our little find on the road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we rescued that. So that's it. You should be here in a minute, and then we can get, get off. Yeah. 
thing. Thank you. Let's put the recipe in there and put some box down there. Mic issues today. This little receiver, which you can't see on the camera, isn't working. The screen's not working, and it's, it's been playing up this morning too, so it doesn't know when you've dropped it on the floor. It's nothing wrong with the equipment, it's just it, it was dropped. So we're on Saturday, 19th of August, at half past eight. Alex just getting a few trench block in, as you can see, for up to, up to ground level. I'm just going to bridge over that, I'm not going to bother with the lintel. <coughs> First job is get this garage door out, which is um, which is faulty and the customers don't want it anymore, so we're going to remove it and chop it up into pieces that will fit in that little mini skip. As soon as this is out of the way, frame can come out. We've got two more halves to take out to, to, for the brickwork, and then we can get cracking, get the uh, block work trench block across. Once that's across, Alex can jump inside on the block work. I'll jump outside on the face work. We've got um, 50 odd of the original bricks taken from here. Recycle, reuse. And then we've got 70 of the new bricks, which is the best we could get. Best, best match we could get. Um, so, I'm going to have to uh, pass over to Dad because the concrete is ready. At the other job, they just rang up and said, can we come early? So, Dad's going to go there now, get the concrete sorted, while I tidy up. Freeze the afternoon up now to get all the stuff, some material sorted for you. Yep, so, we'll uh... I hope he's not picking up Bon Jovi that oh, I just, I just came over here to avoid Bon Jovi. Yeah. Bon Jovi, please don't strike us, we'll try and cover over it. Alright, so I'll see you in a bit, and Dad will see you over in the other video. This is going to be a pain in the ass to sort these clips out. Yeah. Anyway, it's just gone 2 o'clock. We need to skedaddle, that's easy for me to say. We're going to brick store in Wigan. Got our drinks. Alex is at working hard. I'm stood here with the camera, yakking along. <coughs> so hopefully this is just a few screws to get this subframe out. And then it should lift, sorry, this frame out. And it should lift away from the timber subframe. <coughs> so, as always, let's get on the um, time lapse and get a bit of ta get a bit of um, fast action while we get loaded out and get this door, door out. out. I think that's six screws I'm just popped out. I tell you what, it's a pity to, to destroy this thing, you know. So for us to get this out, we just need to get this subframe out. I don't know if it's going to put much of a fight up. Start at the bottom, mate. It's the weakest point. That's the only gap we have. Right at the bottom. See, right at the bottom. Right, bottom course. Out the wind. So sorted. Now we can get that last half out that Alex has just done with the saws all, and that's our height, 900. And then the rest of it's going to be window. Um, Al, I need to get a drill on that, otherwise the one below will snap. I guarantee it needs drilling. So um, yeah, Alex has cut the shuttering down as well. Concrete's at a level, but. With bricklayers, we'll get over it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think while I mess around now with the last few bits, Alex can get a mix on, and then it's a quick break, 
and then time to get stuck in. After a frustrating morning, me doing cuts for nothing, then having to cut splits down to get the gauge right, Got put the bond through, worked brick, we use them, but just stick one of those on top of a safe sprick on. That's what we're coming, out, coming off over the top. So we've probably got about half the course of the big brick and then we're back to these. And when we got to the middle, we had a half in it, which is not our fault, that's just what the bomb works. But um, what we've done is we've made it two three quarters and took the three quarters to each end. So we've put a three quarter on each end there. So it works brick in the middle. And then when we come over the top of the face brick, it should just work full brick. So it's just a bit of. Um, what's the word? Jiggery pokery. Oh. <laughs> Jiggery pokery. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're taking the block work up to the end of the pillar and then round the corner. It'll have to be stud work because the actual wall is 230 mil plus a cable. So the we have the trench block aren't wide enough to get us the cavity width right. So um just a little bit of a study each side for for Neil when he comes and to extend for the plaster if it's getting plastered that's what that is. But um yeah. Splits are in, so that line is the damp course level. So we're going to drop them in, get it up to damp after dinner. One more course on the front up to damp, and then um, that's it. All the messing about's done. I've been um, dismantling the garage door. That's neat. That's ready for chopping up. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll have a better afternoon than we have had the morning. So see you after dinner. Right, after a long dinner, getting our reds together. There you go. That's us up to damp. And um, I'd just like to say, whenever you're doing a building, uh, don't forget your DPC. 
which I've done at both ends. So that brick's coming out and that mortar bed's coming out and the DPC's getting put underneath. What an idiot. At least it's only two bricks. Better than getting up half a dozen courses didn't realise it. So Alex is just there. He's got his side up to damp now and he can crack on now. So he's on the block, I'm on the brick. Uh, as on most garage conveyors, we have a cavity tray and wheat vents. Yeah, but we only have that because you're building onto a concrete slab. Because this is a traditional build, we've got the cavity below, so there's no need for a cavity tray. I'm just going to save a lot of messing about. Thank so, goodness. So what I've saved there is I've, I'm going to have to take my bricks out and put them down close. So yeah. Um, you not get any four inch. Yeah, but I wish we can get that used up out of the van. Um, tell you what, no swap it. So I'm just making extra work, aren't I? Yes. Listen to Alex. So yeah, there's damp course. So I'm going to rattle all these old bricks up as quick as we can and then onto the new ones. So we've got the two three quarters in it here. But as I said before, it works brick with the metric. So we'll be we'll swapping the bomb back. It's not ideal, but this is cold rolling with the punches and what a lot of us bricklayers have to do. You've got to make it look right as best you can. So, um, in fact, I'm going to put you to one side and just leave normal filming for a little bit after I've fixed the damp course. started it again so my clips don't get too long. 
I know, the shorter the better. You won't know setting the edit. It'll save me three hours. Anything over four minutes causing me a problem. Yeah. 
building aspect is done, finally. And it's about five to four, so all things considered, we made pretty good time with that. Zero bricks left over. Zero bricks left over, and I'll show you inside on my part. We were one block short, but thankfully the pieces managed to work out so it didn't look, so I didn't go crack on crack with anything. Just but a quick one. I know you're supposed to get extra materials, but the price of materials now, you get like an extra 20 bricks. That's what? 20, that's like 30 quid of bricks that you're left with that you, got, that you can't use, and you might be able to use them on another job if you're lucky. But um, it's not, it's gone in the day where you can just get a load of stuff and it's just have stuff left over. It's, it's expensive. These are probably 180 a piece. We had enough brick, the two of them just broke in the uh, on the pallet, so we had enough until they well, snapped. If you show them the pillar, we did pinch two. Yeah, we had to resort to some last minute. Yeah, so we, we stole two brick off the pillar, but they were just stuck like that. They weren't doing much. There's going to be a door there giving it strength soon anyway. So there you go. I can show you my bit now too. So obviously this part's going to get studded because of reasons Dad's told you. And we've got an 8 before sheet to see it fits alright. Uh, it it's got to sit on the block work. It might just just go in against them fuses and then we'll put two grabbers in each side and it's done. Excellent. So my, my task now, tidy up as much as I can. I've made a start. You can't really tell, but I have. And then Dad is going to get the pointing aspect done. So just get all that. Nice and matched. We've got plenty of mortar. We've got that and we've got this. Anything that's left over, we're going to um, we're going to just haunch in there. But yeah. It's getting a new floor in there, so I'm going to suspend it in the floor. So it's oh, is it? Have to be tidy. Oh, okay. That's good. Seal, tidy up. Oh, there you go. You heard it from the man. Right, we'll uh, change your battery and then we'll uh, get you set up while Dad points tonight tidy. Catch you. Uh, for, I'll, I'll see you for the outro. I've already had mine. <laughs> Customer just got his uh, ice cream cone from the ice cream van then. 99. Hmm? 99. 99. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Oh, that was lovely. But I'll just give you a quick progress update, too. Dad has done. Oh. Three quarters of it, I'd say. Just got a little bit more to go, and then. Um, just a bit of tidying up and then getting that monster sorted out. <laughs> Looks nice. <coughs> yeah, because we probably would have been home by now. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's not much going on at the moment, just with the pointing and the cleaning, so we'll, we'll come back to you with a bigger update. Boom, there we go. It's uh, six, six o'clock, but it's done. Covered up, repointed, cleaned up, almost. That was a, it was a tough one, but that just that brick, just that brick, that brick match alone makes it worth it. That's lovely, that. But there we go. That's uh, the garage bricks. conversion ticked off. Those bricks are Carlton Heather 73 mil. Carlton brick. I think they're the Carlton copy of the London Heathers. Again, miles better than the originals. No, anything's better than a London brick. But that'll be that'll be it for this video. Like I say, garage conversion ticked off. We're on the countdown to Dad's hip now, so every job we get done is a bonus. Is a big deal, yeah. Get in the bank. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell that way you'll always be notified it's a massive help to the channel and we greatly appreciate the support and down the bottom we have super thanks 
So if you want to donate to the channel, feel free. The hip, the hip, um, the hip fund. I'd be very grateful. You get, you get, you've got super chat and you've got super thanks. I'd be very grateful. Any super thanks? Thank you. What he said. This is this has been garage converting with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.